Welcome back to my channel, Fun and Budget. I am Tanisha, and in this video, I want to go over a specific portion of my 23andMe ancestry. And this was actually requested from me from a subscriber. <laughs> they asked if I can talk specifically about what 23andMe has to say about my Cape Vert ancestry okay and um some may pronounce that as cape verde but the thing about it is a little background is my paternal grandfather is actually cape verdean of cape verdean descent and he has um passed away and his name was eddie resendez okay and so it was super interesting to me that when i looked at my 23 and me ancestry results it actually showed my Cape Verdean lineage. Ancestry.com did not show that specifically. And I honestly, when I show you guys this, I do prefer 23andMe. And I was going to do a video about this comparing the two. I have not done that yet. But let's just go ahead and talk about that portion of my ancestry as requested by a supporter. Okay, so here we go. Here I am. I'm in the 23andMe app. I'm also testing out a new microphone that I found in my basement. <laughs> so I don't even know how any of this is going to sound, but let's see. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here to my ancestry report right here. And as you see, I actually purchased the 23andMe health DNA kit. So it gives me my health reports and all of that other fun stuff. But right now we're going to talk specifically about my ancestry. So let's go to my um, ancestry. And as you see right here, this gives you my composition of all of the things that I'm made up of. And the part that we are going to look at, let me just expand this right quick. Okay. So the part we're going to look at is this piece right here where it shows you Cape Vert specifically, okay? And this says Senegambian and Guinea, Guinean. I think I'm pronouncing this right. And it has Brava and Cape Vert plus one region. So we're going to click on this. And this is also freaking interesting to me, especially now that my grandfather is no longer here. It's amazing that this was actually picked up in my DNA. So basically it says, your DNA suggests that 11.2 of your ancestry is Senegambian and Guinean. The people of Senegal, the Gambia, Guinea, Guinea, Bissau, Basau, share many traditions related to the history of powerful empires in the region. In the Gambia, the Mandinka people are the largest group with historical roots along the Niger River Basin, while the Wolof people from the majority in, formed the majority in the neighboring Senegal. In the Guinea, in the Guinea Basu, the Fulani people predominate and may have subtle genetic links to North Africa or Western Asia. In the 18th century, around 400,000 people from this region were enslaved and transported to the Americas. Nearly 50,000 disembarked in the United States alone. Now, let me say this, guys. This is 23andMe. Ancestry does not break it down like this. So, it says, in the last 200 years, your ancestors may have lived in the following locations. We found evidence of your recent ancestry in the following regions. Darker regions represent places where you have DNA in common with more people who report ancestry from that particular region. Because these results reflect the ancestries of individuals currently in our reference dat database, expect to see your results change over time as that database grows. Okay? So again, 11.2%. And here it says Cape Verde, highly likely match. 
So you see when I kind of zoom out on the map, look, it shows this region. And then right here, evidence of recent an ancestry, weaker to stronger. Cabo Verde is an island right off of the coast of West Africa. See, this is West Africa. Now, the interesting thing about Cabo Verde is it was colonized by the Portuguese. So there is a lot of um, Portuguese. The language there is a lot of um, Portuguese. So my grandfather had said that as he was growing up, he actually spoke Portuguese. And then he learned English. And then slowly over the years, he kind of forgot, you know, Portuguese and the... Um, I think they also call it like a Creole as well, like a Creole language, like a mixture of African and Portuguese and, you know, just a, a nice gumbo of languages mixed there. But yeah, so my grandfather had stories of that. But so see, so if we go ahead and break this down again. All right, there we go. So it says Cabo Verde has... Cape Verde has 21 administrative regions and we found the strongest evidence of your ancestry in the following two. Brava and Seo, is that Seo Felipe? Yeah, Brava and Seo Felipe. And then it says we did not detect enough evidence of recent ancestry from Gambia, Guinea, or Senegal. And so this is so freaking interesting. Oh my goodness, I can almost cry. And this is simply because, like I said, I've always heard the stories. Back where I'm from in Rhode Island, my father's father's side of the family is strong, strong, strong Cape Verdean heritage. Um, I have, I don't know if I ever did videos, but going to the um, Cape Verdean club, all of that, a lot of Cape Verdean dishes, foods, culture super super strong so that is so freaking interesting that this test actually picks that up and even though it's classified as Senegambian and Guinean this right here says we did not detect enough of that in your ancestry but this is what we did detect I was wondering if I can make this bigger because I feel like there was another region that they said my grandfather was from but I cannot Remember, I'm going to have to ask my aunt about it. But as you see, right here is like, this is the darkest area. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So Brava, this is the darkest area where it's showing that my ancestry comes from. This is so freaking interesting. Let me click this one. And of course, this one right here is saying Sao Felipe. That is so freaking interesting. Like I said, I feel like 23andMe gives you a better breakdown than, than Ancestry.com. I also have done African Ancestry. That's the one that I am the least impressed with. And I said I was going to do videos on all of these and just have not gotten around to them. I just have so many video ideas. And so this lets you know things. If you're curious about Senegambian and Guinea history, these are some of the things. Like, it just breaks down some stuff. Right? It gives you a lot of history and a lot of things that you can look further into. Look, prepare your own Ataya tea ceremony. And this is a Senegalese tradition. Oh my goodness. And then look, guys, it actually shows you all, Emmy, some of my relatives that have these roots here. Oh my goodness. FB predicted their cousin from Gambia, Candida Tavares. Predicted third company from Cape Verde, Bruce Treadwell from Cape Verde, Jorge Brito from Cape Verde, De Assis Sanderson 
from Cape Verde. Wow. And then let's see, he has a picture, so let's click on him. I don't know these people here personally. He was just active in the last day. He lives in New York, New York. So freaking interesting. Genetic relationship. He's predicted to be a third cousin. Um, let's look at this. Thirty nine centimorgans. CM stands for centimorgans. And again, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, me and my son have over three thousand centimorgans in common. Hence, it was like this is your child. Y'all are parent child relationship. No if ands or buts. And then it kind of shows you where we share DNA. Oh. And then it goes down to say, it looks like we had a second great-grandparent in common. That's interesting. And then it shows our breakdown in our relationship. Where I am, where he is. And then, of course, I get my maternal haplo group. He has his paternal haplo, um, which I don't have because that only comes from the male... DNA side of the house. Yeah, so like I said, um, 23andMe breaks it down more so than Ancestry. We get our Neander Neanderthal, Neanderthal Ancestry and everything. And you can kind of see that. So also, guys, I totally just found this by clicking around. But I actually have a 23andMe referral link. And I told you all throughout this video, I actually like this DNA kit the best. So if you use my referral link, which is right here, and it will be listed in the description below, um, it is Tanisha Davis, refer.23andMe.com slash S slash Tanisha Davis. You will get a minimum of 10% off of your order. And I will receive $20 in an Amazon gift card. So there you have it. I am not an expert in any of this in any way, shape, or form. I simply took the test and just started um, looking at my results and then comparing my results with the things that I have heard over time and things that I've known as far as my family is concerned. Um, so if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Or if you have anything else you would like me to take a closer look at as far as my ancestry goes let me know so let me know these are my results and once again thank you guys for listening to me and don't forget to thumbs up subscribe if you're not already a family member and leave a comment below and let me know and also let me know what do you prefer if you've taken multiple tests, DNA tests, Ancestry, 23andMe, African Ancestry. Those are the only three that I am familiar with personally. So let me know. And like I said, right for me right now, 23andMe has it. Until the next video, guys. Peace.